could be wrong, but Lisa might be. Oh, that apocalypse. Yep. Nope. We're definitely getting Colson and this apocalypse retro card. We're in Salem, Massachusetts. We're done at Rhode Island Comic Con. We decided to swing up to Salem to kind of do some shopping and some creeping around just to see what's going on, see what we can get into. And we found a toy store and we're gonna go in right now because you know your boy likes toys. I didn't get enough this weekend anymore. Let's go inside. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's, uh, let's continue this weekend. All right, going in here. Ooh, immediately with a Phil Coulson hot toy up there. Let me find out how much that is real quick. Hold on. All right, the toy sweats got me. I just bought a Colson hot toy. It's sitting on my counter behind me. Oh, what a weekend. This weekend's wild. Let's keep going. All right, we have our Pokemon cards over here. We got our Funko sodas down here. Tons of sodas. Uh, what do we got right here? Let's just keep diving in. We got our DC Multiverse. Tons of DC Multiverse. Got our statues. Spider-Gwen gallery statue. That thing looks awesome. Oh wow. Oh no. Oh, that apocalypse. Yep. Nope. We're definitely getting Colson and this apocalypse retro card. What an awesome find. Oh my gosh. My wallet hurts. This weekend hurts. All right, we got some Funko Pops. We got our Lord of the Rings. We love the Lord of the Rings figures. We love that Sauron build a figure. I wish we would get more Lord of the Rings content. Uh, I really like Rings of Power. I know a lot of people didn't, but it was a great background show to watch, to put on the back while you did work. Really enjoyed that. Some more Funko. We got our Bluto and Popeye statues. A bunch of Cupos kits. Got some Godzilla over here in the cabinet. Some Kong, little Kaijuverse stuff. A little Sailor Moon cabinet. I'm sure Space Buns is gonna be all over this when she sees it. Some more Zillas up here. What do we got back here? Looks like these are the clearance and discount toys. Um, nah, I don't really see anything back there we need to mess with. Got a manga section over here. Bunch more cute baskets. I can't look at Demon Slayer stuff and not think of Sensei Serum. Sensei, if you're watching this, I love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Naruto, Yu-Gi-Oh, nothing we need here. Let's keep moving. Let's go to the other side of the store. All right, got a DC. Got John Constantine right there. It's my favorite figure from that line. Some Funko Pop stuff. We got our signage. Uh, we got our G.I. Joe over here. Ninja Turtles. Looks like we have our bigger value things on that wall over there. We'll get there next. Looks like we're getting there now. We're putting some statues in the case. Got some Toy Biz Legends. Uh, got our Mezco back here. Do you see all those Van Helsing NECA TMNTs? Mummy, Mikey. Got a Teenage Mutant Turtles. There's a Last of Us NECA Ellie and Joel 2-pack. I need that. I love The Last of Us and I can't wait for that show. I'm not going to buy that today because I just bought a hot toy, but definitely going to put that in my maybe list. I'm going to screenshot that and maybe look it up on eBay or something later this week. Uh, Spawn. Conan the Barbarian. These figures look great. Super 7's absolutely been crushing the figure game lately. We got our statues here. We have a lot of music. There's our Iron Giant. All right, I think I'm pretty good. Oh, that is so good. All right, I think I'm pretty good in the store. I'm going to get out of here. The music playing in the background is probably going to hit me with the copyright ding anyway. Like a Hulkbuster. Uh, I'm going to go buy my Hot Toy and my Apocalypse Retro card and get out of this joint before my wallet hurts anymore. This was such a good place to stop. Oof, I'm never going to financially recover from this. Magneto. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So much cool stuff. Is that Grievous? There's that Wrecker. I dig it. All right, let's go pay for our stuff and get out of this joint. All right, we found a whole section of nice stuff up here. We got our Dark Saber. We got our Kotobukiyas. We got our helmets. A lot of Star Wars goodness in this joint. And prices are pretty reasonable as well. I'm a big fan. There's a bunch of graded books back here. Oh, man. Oof. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go. Look at my hot toy back there looking at me on that shelf. Coming to get you, Phil. I'm coming to get you. Let's do this thing. <sighs> I can't be trusted here. 
Let's move on. All right, dropping into this Target here in Burlington, Massachusetts, and we found some G.I. Joe gold. We got the twins, we got Tomax, we got Zamet, and we've got Sergeant Stalker. This is an awesome find right here. Definitely like finding Joes on the shelf. Definitely like seeing a whole peg of Joes on the shelf. This was decent. I'm not going to snatch any of these. Uh, not yet, at least. I'm going to let them hang out. Uh, I'm trying to slowly dip my toes out of Joes for a little bit. But it's always cool to see them on the shelf. All right, let's keep moving. Let's see what else we can find. All right, I had an amazing weekend at Rhode Island Comic Con. I had an amazing weekend in New England. But we're on our way back home. We're driving through New York on the way down to Maryland, West Virginia, my area. And we're stopping at West Niagara. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. West Niagara, New York is what it says on the map. There's a big target. There's a huge mall. It's windy AF. Let's go inside. I got stuff to do. All right. Now that we're inside and there's no wind, let's talk. We have some toys to look for. Uh, there's a few things that I have been on the hunt for that I haven't been able to find. Uh, I saw them at the con, but they were overpriced. They were a little bit out of my price range. Uh, I'm not paying more than retail for some of this stuff because it's already, you know, pretty ridiculous. So we're going to go. We're going to see what they got over here. That's a good angle. All right, let's go. Let's go find some stuff. All right, we're here. We're diving in, and we found that Bo-Katan helmet, 124. Look at that Bo-Katan Mando helmet. We got Mando figures. We got Tika. We got Vader. We got Lando, of course. We have some Funko Pops. Uh, action figure sections right here in front of me. It's a real weird layout, but I'm here for it. Got socks from Lightyear. Got our Avatar stuff. Uh, see some Lance Archer over here. Uh, some Leia. Of course, we got our Machos. We got more Leia. Got a Farouk's, got a Bradshaw, got a Jeff Hardy's. We have a lot of Ultimates here. You guys remember when Ultimates used to be hard to find? Now they're everywhere. Real. Ooh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so happy right now. We found that AEW Supreme Brit Baker. Holy crap. I've been so excited for these figures. And now I have one. Oh, this is coming up with me. Without a doubt. AEW Supreme Dr. Britt Baker here at West Nyack, New York. Absolutely a grab. And there's a whole stack of Bo Katan helmets here. There's three here, there's two over there. Very, very cool to see. Uh, do they have the Cody here as well? No, just the Brit. Oh my god, I'm so happy about this though. There's our Batman over there. I love this Batman. This is one of my favorite figures of the year. I think the display just looks so good on it. Got a Rey Mysterio, got a T'Challa from Black Panther. Got a Shuri, of course. Everybody's getting really excited for the Black Panther release. Um, yeah, I don't see too, too much else over here. Let's slide over to the other side and see what's going on. All right, dropping into the other side of action figure land. Uh, that's not right. Where's all the Marvel stuff at? Oh, it's over here. We have a weird aisle in between. We got our Witcher figures. We got, looks like some G.I. Joe Snake Eyes kits. U.S. Agent Thor. There's a Valkyrie. There's a Valkyrie hanging up. I can't remember the last time I saw a Valkyrie. It's been a couple months for sure. There's our Ironheart. There's some Baku. Some Black Adam stuff. There's our Green Arrow. There's our Luthor. Our Lobo. Uh, Red Robin. Yum. Nah, I don't see anything we need though. Everything else is pretty good. They do have that Transformers Cybertron Metroplex on sale for 151 It's a little bit of a good deal. I mean, it's not 200 so that's a plus. Down here we have... Our Blackout and Scorponok masterpiece series, though I have not seen this yet. This box has some weight. I think that's Scorponok. That is sick. Not $132 sick for me, but I'm sure for some of you guys that is a grab all day. Very cool to see here in West Nyack. All right, let's keep going. We got some more stuff to find. Let's go. All right, so we're in this mall by the Target here in West Nyack, and there's a toy store called true believers you guys have to see this there's so much amazing stuff here just diving in like marvel legends wall to wall uh, we got older legends in here for some higher prices we got more up here a bunch of power ranger lightning collection we got our joe section over here the baroness zartan cobra infantry gung-ho zartan just tons of stuff some transformers some older spawn figures of course, we got the anime section that's booming. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Got our D&D stuff over here. I see our WWE Creations New Generation ring up there. Huge NECA TMNT section. Funko Pops everywhere. 
NECA section's literally on fire. There's so much stuff everywhere. Gargoyles. We got our Universal Monsters. We got our Super 7s. We got our NECA boys. Big NECA boys up there. Our Blimp. Man, this is wild to see. Uh, that price is wild to see. Oof. Oof. Big oof. We got our Zumbos. We got our Aliens. We got our Heroes. Predator. It's our Motu down there. Look at that. That's sick. Uh, some WWE stuff over here. Some Transformers. Some more higher end figures in this. Sh Face Hugger hanging out. Chilling with us. Got the King of the Realms up there. I like that new generation ring a lot. Hey, that's something. What'd you find? No, you take $15 for Otis. No. No. No, get out of here with that Otis. Got our Galactus Haslab. Got our Sentinel Haslab. Just chilling. Giant Slimer. That's so sick. There's so much awesome stuff in here. There's that Doom Sculpt. I have that. Courtesy of What the Pop. The Thor. The Thor is sick. Tony. We got Jordan. We got our custom stuff over here. There's so much cool stuff in this place. If I lived here, I would, my entire paycheck would be blown in this joint. The Disney section is awesome. And Maleficent. Sculpt. Got some Vampire Mickey Mini. This place is rad. Pokemon over there in the corner. Giant Wolfman here at the door. I dig it. Let's get out of here. I, I'm gonna spend way too much money if I hang out. All right, like I said, True Believers here in West Nyack. That store right there. Buy a Wolfman. Oof. That place is cold. Take my money. Let's get out of here. We gotta get going home. We're still like five hours from home. I'm tired. All right, guys, it's pee break time. We're stopping at Target. We're here in Langhorne, Pennsylvania this time. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to this Target before. I don't know that I've ever been to this city before, honestly. Let's go in. Let's see what we got. I do not need anything else. I have bought so, so much this week. Like, I like window shopping. Let's see what we got. Maybe there's something in here. Possibly. Let's go. It's windy. All right, guys, so. We have made it over here to the NECA collectible section. We got our Shuri box set. We got our Black Panther. We got our Conchu statue. We got our Mariah Carey. Christmas music is on its way. I don't see too much else though. Um, see our Elvira box, see our, oh, we do have our mummy accessory set. First time I've seen that in a Target. I saw that at the con. Uh, seeing it at Target's kind of cool. I really like the sarcophagus this comes with. I guess you can't see it. There's no window, is there? Now, yeah, come with the sarcophagus. It looks really, really good in person. Uh, Leonardo, Gizmo, new creep show. There's our nun up there. Nah, there's nothing we really need here at all. I'll look through these pop pins for a chase off camera, and then we'll slide over to action figures real quick. All right, diving into action figures here. We have a whole bunch of six inch page punchers down there. Got our Duke Thomas Batman. Got our Martian Manhunter, we got our Grifter. I haven't seen this Batman before. That's kind of cool. Do you have Owlman on clearance for 21? It's not much of a clearance, but it's a start. Owlman gets any cheaper, I might end up grabbing one for me. Got our Iron Heart. Got our Iron Spiders up here. Got our Iron Man US Agent, Manga Spawn. Don't see anything I need here. Uh, there's a little wrestling section over here on the side of the world. We have our Sean Spears. I love this figure. That chair is really cool. It's Chris Statlander, Lance Archer, got Raul Mendoza, some Jeff Hardy, some Roman Reigns, bunch of Macho Mans. Uh, Charlotte Flair. Ugh, I don't really see much there. We do have Throne Room Boba Fett hanging out here, which I have not seen in a long time. It's very weird to see that on the shelf right now, actually. I haven't seen that in months and months and months. Uh, we got Hordak. Of course, we have our Galaxy Adventures. Yeah, Galaxy, I get that mixed up all the time. Micro Galaxy Squadron hanging up on the shelf, but there are no rares there. Uh, I don't see too much of this target. It looks pretty basic to me. Uh, I'll scoop around and see if we find anything fun or exciting, but honestly, it looks kind of kind of beat. Uh, I'll check in if I find anything cool. See you soon. All right, we're walking around and we actually did find something kind of cool. Found that Boba Fett helmet and we found this new Lucario FX light. I have the Pikachu one of these at my house. It's cool to see the Lucario one in person. I haven't seen this before. Both of those are very, very cool to come across. All right, let's keep moving. All right, guys, another toy hunt. This time in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We're at Target, it's one of my favorite Targets to go to. We were here a couple weeks ago. Let's bust in the doors. Let's bum rush this toy section. Let's find those goods, let's find that plastic.
let's go. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, we found the toy section. Let's go in, let's see what we get. All right, we're coming here to the wrestling and Star Wars section. There is somebody there, so let's go over here to the action figure aisle. Got US Agent, we got Speedball, Blue Marvel, we got Killmonger, Black Panther Legends, we got Future Foundation Spidey. Uh, not seeing anything too new, but honestly nothing real new has come out in this section. Do have our Ned and Pete 2-pack, a couple of them. We do have a Spider-Man helmet down here. Do you like that Spider-Man Iron Spider helmet? Thing looks sick. Look how cool that is. We love that. Uh, gonna keep looking. We'll slide over here to wrestling and start. We'll see what's going on over there. There's still somebody over there looking at stuff, so we'll slide over to Collectible Lane and see what's going on. Do see our Sam and Twitch, see our Omega Spawn, see our Stranger Things, our TMNT crossovers. Got our Sean Kemp, got our Wolverine. See a bunch of new Funko Pops that I have not seen before. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, seeing some Usagi Ojimbo, see some Gremlins. There's our Miss Marvel Tees. That's kind of cool, I dig those. Got our Turtle Boxes, our Valkyrie's Flight. Got our I Am Group Pops from the new animated show, which will be kind of fun to watch. Uh, big Lapras down there, but not seeing too much else, honestly. Uh, some Miss Marvel pins. No, I'm pretty good on most all of this. All right, we'll slide over the action figures and see what's going on over there. All right, we got our dinos. Uh, don't see too much in dino land. T big T-Rex, those boys should be on clearance before too long. Got our Avatar stuff here. Looks like Savage He-Man. Uh, King Grayskull, regular He-Man hanging out. Uh, Andra, Beastman. Nothing really new or exciting. Honestly, it looks like a lot of the same. I went down to wrestling and had a look a few seconds ago while everybody was over there, and it's just peg warmers. AEW peg warmers, WWE peg warmers. Nothing we need, so we're going to skip it. I uh, do see a couple pieces over here on this shipper, but that's really it. I think this target may be a bust, guys. Not a fan. Going to keep moving on. All right, guys, we're here in Martinsburg, uh, checking furniture here at Target. I've been looking through a few things and I actually found something in this table here, so I wanted to document it. You know how we do on this channel. So we opened up this drawer here and we actually found some stolen Pokemon card packs. Looks like somebody was hiding them off. But over here in this drawer, we found an entire box of Spark Pokemon Go. Somebody's stashing them for later. Somebody's old secret stash here. Like I say, guys, always check furniture when you're out and about at Target, you'll find people's stashes. I found Funko Pops, I found toys, I found Pokemon cards, and just found some more. You guys saw it. Go get them, Martinsburg. What's up, guys? So this is very impromptu. I was not planning on recording real quick, but I wanted to throw just a little bit extra at the end of this video. Uh, I got a ton of stuff this week, and I'm sorry I've kind of been, like, just gone for the last couple days. I haven't posted much, haven't said much. It's been kind of recentering myself. I have a lot going on personal wise and it's just been a weird week guys like a weird week but we're here we're doing the thing and i wanted to show you what we picked up uh i did pick up a love triangle three pack loose at my local toy store all the pieces are here it looks phenomenal got my girl jean love this jean figure uh three love triangle three pack marvel legends i also snatched up a rizzo uh muppets figure this light above me is really awful uh, i love the muppets you need a rizzo figure you just do uh, Rhode Island Comic Con was this past week, and then we also went to Salem, we went to a few places. We snatched up a last Ronin NECA figure, needed that. We picked up that Marvel Legends Apocalypse, we needed that as well. We picked up our Miles Morales Funko comic cover. We picked up a Phil Coulson. Hot Toys. I love Phil Coulson, I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Love it. And we also picked up our Winter Soldier Hot Toys as well, from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Got that. And I don't know if I got showed you guys or not. We did get our Kingpin painting signed right there on the lapel. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio threw his signature right there on the corner. And we gave him a print of this. So it was a very, very cool time. I'm just, I'm happy to be back home now. Happy to get back to work. Let's do this thing. I'll see you guys soon. Later days. It occurred to me that I didn't show you guys Britt Baker. We did pick up a Britt Baker as well. Let me pull her off the shelf. Bam. Supreme. We also got those Marvel Legends VHSs that I showed off last week. We picked up the Jubilee and Storm for $17 each. Easy grab. They're over there. I really do need to do a tour at some point of this room. There's a lot of stuff in here I just haven't showed off. You know, eventually. Until next time, good night. Sleep tight. Hope all your collecting dreams come true. Later days.